Landscape fire behavior modeling can be done in IFTDIS through My Modeling Playground, either accessed directly from the taught navigation or the Model Fire Behavior prompt in Landscape Evaluation. Select Landscape Fire Behavior from the drop-down and hit Create Run. You can select an existing landscape if you have one. You could also create a landscape here if needed. Next, select the type of wind and enter your wind inputs. We can choose Gridded Wind Inputs where the wind is adjusted based on your landscape by Wind Ninja, Static Direction which applies the wind in one direction across the landscape, or Wind Blowing Uphill, or Wind Blowing Downhill. For wind speed, use the 20 foot wind speed in miles per hour, either 20 feet above the ground or 20 feet above the canopy, and wind direction in degrees from north. For crown fire inputs, select your crown fire method and foliar moisture content. In this example, I'll leave crown fire method as Scott and Reinhardt and foliar moisture at 100%. If you wanted, we could use the Finney Crown Fire method. Uh, there's documentation on the difference between the two in the IFTDIS Help Center. And you can get right to that from the Crown Fire link in the right hand panel. Moving down, we'll populate our initial fuel moisture for 1 10 100 hour fuels as well as herbs and woody fuel. If we leave this single row for initial fuel moisture, IFTDIS will apply this to the entire landscape or we could add rows. This lets us input initial fuel moistures for different fuel models across the landscape. For this example, I'm just going to have the one row. And then we can choose to condition our fuels. The first choice on here is do not condition, which will use these initial fuel moistures just as they are in this top row. You can also condition by classified weather stream. Currently, Extreme is the only classified weather stream available. Using this choice, if you just will automatically select the raw station and conditioning period for extreme conditions based on pyrome. These are currently mostly available for the western US. Or you can upload your own weather stream file from your local computer. If you choose this option, you'll tell IFTDIS which start date to use, the time of day that you'd like to start at, and the number of days in the conditioning period, with a maximum of seven. Once we give the model output a name, we'll be able to run. Uh, make sure to name the model something distinctive so you can find it in drop down later throughout IFTDIS. Once you select run, We'll see a confirmation that the model is being run. We can check the status using the status refresh button. Once your model is complete, it'll be available here as well as in my workspace and viewable in Map Studio. If you want to create a report for your landscape fire behavior output, you can find it in my workspace. Navigate to your folder and model output of choice. Select the model output and select request a report and you can either create a report for the entire landscape or just look at a specific area of interest and click create report you can use the refresh button to see the status of the report once it's complete this hyperlink will be active the report will also be listed in my workspace you can click on it from here you can download and print the report using the download button in the top right or you can go through and save specific tables or images to include in reports of your own.